threatening quickie. We hear the refrain over and over again from politicians and other elites. No one is above the law. This has become an oft-used talking point of the mainstream media and their elite group of proselytizing pundits as a means of bullying people they don't agree with. The idea that the law is an unbiased arbiter of justice that applies equally to everyone is pretty much just a mantra for elites, a way for them to pat themselves on the back. And everyone else? Well, that makes them a danger to society! The fact is, as we've seen in case after case after case, the law is often applied quite arbitrarily and even capriciously. Whose traffic stop are the police going to escalate until it turns lethal? Whose house that they mistakenly raid ends up with a dead dog rather than an apology? And when a citizen defends himself or others, when are the times he'll be the one arrested as the criminal? Just look around internet videos and you'll find people whose lives were ruined by false DUI claims even if they won in court. Or where simply walking their dog leads to a search of their car. Even people who are absolute rioters, spray painting, smashing, and even burning down private property get basically a slap on the wrist, while other protesters, those on the wrong side of the elites, get vandalism charges because they used sidewalk chalk. And at worst, the very selective prosecution of people who exercise their right to petition the government for redress of grievances. Especially if that grievance is about an election. Which is exactly how they become immune to it. Not having proper accountability to the citizenry is how cops so often get away with outright assault, murder, and even rape. In reality, lots of people are above the law. And instead of being objective, the law is unpredictably arbitrary for those of us who actually have to live with it. Power is arbitrary, and its arbitrariness affects us all.